important problem with lipids, and especially the polyunsaturated ones, is oxidation. The more unsaturated the lipid is, the easier it gets oxidized because free radicals are very much attracted by the abundance of electrons at the double bonds. When oxidation is advanced, the fat becomes rancid and we can easily smell it. However, it doesn't necessarily have to get to that point. This is the danger. An oil can be extensively oxidized even if it still doesn't smell rancid. Oxidized fats are bad because they are atherogenic, pro-oxidant and carcinogenic molecules. They damage our cell membranes, deposit in the walls of our arteries, and easily generate toxic byproducts. So what was once a good molecule, our good omega-3s and omega-6, now becomes extremely detrimental to our health. This can happen both in food or inside our body. In food, fats get oxidized with bad or prolonged storage, prolonged exposure to light, air, heat, and high temperature cooking, such as deep frying. That's why highly unsaturated oils are not good for cooking because they will generate a lot of oxidized lipids and toxic byproducts. That's also why if polyunsaturated fats are very important, we also do not want too many of them in our diet because when we have them in excess, they tend to get oxidized inside our body, in our bloodstream and our cell membranes, especially if our antioxidant system is weak. As far as the polyunsaturated fats we eat, we have to take great care in preventing their oxidation. The food industry does that by adding fat-soluble antioxidants such as vitamin E or the artificial ones such as BHA and BHT. These will oxidize themselves, sparing the fat from getting oxidized. But they can only do it for so long, typically the shelf life of the product. And then after the antioxidants are over and completely oxidize themselves, then the lipids will start getting oxidized. This is the same thing that happens in oils. Oils naturally come with some vitamin E. Olive oil also has some antioxidant polyphenols. And that saves them from getting oxidized for a while until all the antioxidants are over. At home, we must store oils, nuts and seeds in a dry, cool place protected from light, which the kitchen generally is not. If we cannot find such a place, it's better to keep them in the fridge. We should avoid high temperature cooking of lipids and especially being very gentle when we cook fish because its omega-3s are very prone to oxidation. We should limit consumption of deep fried foods because some lipids inevitably undergo oxidation and never fry in highly unsaturated oils. And of course, we have to immediately get rid of rancid, badly stored oils or oils that have been around for too long.